He was the very first Bear County Sheriff's deputy to die of COVID-19. Timothy De La Fuente's passing in April of 2020, a jolting illustration of how first responders continued to serve the community even as it was overrun by a deadly contagious disease. De La Fuente's life has repeatedly been honored publicly, but privately. The county has been in a years long court battle to strip his widow of death benefits. The fact that the county is continues to deny this claim is is to me it's shameless. It's disgusting. It's like they, my husband didn't exist. The defenders Dylan Collier examines the potential precedent setting court case and the stain it's now added to a deputy's memory. <laughs> It started on a Monday with a dry cough while working at the Bear County Jail Annex. But by Thursday, Deputy Timothy De La Fuente had full blown COVID-19 and was too weak to walk out of his far north side home. Outside, as paramedics struggled to put on their hazmat suits before going in, inside, his widow Pauline remembers. And when I took his glasses off and I was looking at him, and I looked in his eyes and my husband was gone. He wasn't breathing. There was nothing behind those eyes. The April 2020 death of the 27 year BCSO veteran struck a somber chord. A COVID-19 test taken days before Deputy De La Fuente's passing confirmed he was positive for the virus. And the sheriff's office quickly labeled it an on-duty death. The stretchy cloth mask found by Pauline in the pocket of his uniform, no match for a disease that had surged through the building where he worked. The loss of Deputy De La Fuente left a massive void in Pauline's life. The couple had lived with one another, carrying themselves as husband and wife for 14 years. Figure out how to, you know, get my lawn cut, take the trash out, uh, bills. Uh, my husband took care of all of that. At a 100 Club of San Antonio luncheon this month to honor the fallen, including Deputy De La Fuente, it was revealed that 10 of the 15 area first responders who died in the line of duty in recent years did so from COVID-related complications. The lunch, the latest recognition for Deputy De La Fuente as his widow has crisscrossed the country to accept medals and declarations honoring his legacy. But Pauline's story is not that of a widow who's been taken care of by the county where her husband proudly served. Far from it. Court records show Bear County is trying to take away Deputy De La Fuente's death benefits and believe it or not, force his widow to pay back the cost of cremating him. It's been a long, hard road for Pauline. In July 2020, the county denied her initial claim for benefits. So her case then went before an administrative judge twice in 2021. The county's argument that Deputy De La Fuente did not contract COVID during the scope of his employment for BCSO, that Pauline was not Deputy De La Fuente's legal spouse at the time of his death, and that she failed to request in writing that her denied benefits claim be reprocessed once the state declared that first responders were likely to have contracted COVID while working. After the administrative judge overseeing the case sided with Pauline both times, the county appealed both times. And in late January, filed suit against Pauline in state district court, seeking to end the weekly death benefits she receives, which total less than $4,000 a month, and make her pay back the $1,900 it costs to cremate her husband. If he had been shot in the line of duty, there would be no question about this. Lieutenant Jeremy Payne, outgoing president of the Deputy Sheriff's Association of Bear County, said the ongoing legal fight could have a ripple effect for first responder families across Texas. You asked him to come in, you asked him to serve, he did his job, and he paid for that with his life. And for you to come back and try and hurt his family by taking away financial benefits that the state has already approved is just horrific. County officials declined our interview requests, citing the pending litigation. Although Sheriff Javier Salazar has not commented publicly on it, in a May 9th email to the county's workers' compensation claim specialist, he called the filing against a grieving law enforcement widow reprehensible. 
quote, I can tell you I strongly disagree with denial of benefits, and I find it insulting to Timothy's memory if his wife is indeed being sued for pursuing something countless other law enforcement families are rightfully being afforded all while she is clearly still dealing with the loss of her spouse. For Pauline, a loss in court would mean a return to the workforce at the age of 70. My husband gave almost 28 years to the citizens of Bear County. He worked there more than half his life. His loyalty and dedication was unwavering. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Attorneys for Pauline have asked for a jury trial in this case. She said she continues to receive Deputy De La Fuente's death benefits while the sides await trial, but they were temporarily halted while the case was under appeal last year. Now, a spokesperson for Bear County released a statement on the case saying in part, quote, while we disagree with the general characterization of this matter, we are working to ensure that Bear County funded benefits are paid out appropriately and in accordance with relevant law. End quote.